What's up, nerds? Today, I'm going to tell you a genuinely true story of how me cheating in my math class somehow led me to being good at math and suddenly also school in general too. Uh, at the end of this video, I'll also give you a bunch of lessons of what you can take away from this story and how you can apply it in your life, minus the cheating part, obviously. In case any don't know who I am, my name is Dario Tringali. I'm 22 years old and I'm a physics PhD student at the University of Colorado Boulder. Uh, I just make videos to show you cool things and maybe inspire you to do some cool things yourself. Okay, so let's get right into the story. Our story starts in elementary school. Do any of you remember those mad minute math tests that you had to take in like second to fourth grade? Well, cause I remember them very well, very, very well. I got introduced to these around second grade. And the way that these tests work, in case you don't know, is that you have to finish a certain number of addition, subtraction, multiplication, combination of any, well, I don't know, in exactly one minute. And if you got over three wrong, then you failed. So three or less, you pass. If you pass that test, then you move on to the next level. So there's levels, levels one, two, three, four, five, it just keeps going. I was so bad at these tests. I mean, so, so bad at taking these mad minute tests. I was stuck on the infamous level four. I could not get by it for the life of me because I was a bad test taker. I was slow when it came to taking tests. It's not even that I would get all of them wrong. It's that I would leave like seven to eight of them blank at the end because I couldn't finish them in a minute. I was like, okay, whatever. It's fine. There's other students in the class. They're also on level four. You know, a few of them are on like level six, seven, eight. It's fine. It's not a big deal. I'll get through level four. And then eventually it got to the point where it was like, oh no, I'm on level four still. And everybody else is past level four. And you got the teacher raising their hand in class and going, everyone congratulate Jacob. Jacob has finished level 20. And he, we, I need to go home and I need to print more tests because he finished all the ones that I had. I didn't know anyone would get this far. Wow, we have such a good class. And my ass is sitting on level four still. I wanted nothing more than to get done with level four, to pass just level four. So you know what I did? I got desperate and I cheated. That's right. I cheated in second grade on a mad minute math test. One day the teacher came and she was handing out the test. I knew I needed more time than a minute to finish. So the second she got by my table, she rounded the corner and started heading towards the next table. And I immediately flipped my test over and I just started doing them. Hiding myself between those two like binder folders that you know, like those, the folders that you like stack up around your test. And I started doing it before she set the timer. And just to my luck, the teacher turned around and caught me. And she yelled at me and made me put my head down for the rest of class and took, obviously took my exam. But while I should have felt bad, and I did feel bad that I cheated and I got caught, more so that I got caught that I cheated, I still wanted nothing more than to pass level four. So you know what I did again? That's right, you guessed it, I cheated again. A few weeks down the line, everyone in the class had just finished the Mad Minute. I, once again, definitely did not pass. I left like eight, completely blank at the bottom. But it was a better day for me. It was probably one of my best days. So I waited till everyone left the classroom, including the teacher. And what I did was I went over to her desk and I rifled through all her papers and I found the stack of tests from that day. I pulled mine out and I filled out the rest of the test. And I put it back in there. You know what happened? My dumb ass got four wrong. I got four wrong. I didn't even pass. I blatantly cheated and I still failed. I couldn't even cheat properly. I couldn't believe it when I saw that. But unfortunately, this was the reality I was in. So a few more weeks go by and that was the end of the Mad Minute. The teacher said this was the last one we stopped. I never got past level four. You know what that made me feel? When I was in second grade, defeated, mentally slow. It just destroyed all my confidence of being able to do math, all of it. All of it completely gone that I would even had a chance to do well at math. I was just like, okay, I guess I'm bad at math and I can't do math. And I'm not gonna lie, I don't think that this went, this came back for a long time. From that point on in my life, I could not finish an exam in the allotted time. Not just math, I mean all classes. And this was until 10th grade pre-calc. Well, guess what? I cheated again. So what happened in this class is that I had just come out of the first exam. And from this first exam, I felt, once again, pretty defeated. Left a few blank. Definitely got some other ones wrong. Wasn't feeling great about the exam. And I opened my phone and I got a text from a friend and they go, hey, just got sent all of the exams for the entire year. And I just looked at the first exam that we just took. It's exactly the same. And them catching me at this low moment where I felt very defeated after this exam, I said, 
send that shit over. So that's right. I cheated in my pre-cut class on every exam for the entire year. I'm so sorry to my pre-calc teacher if you ever see this, but yes, I cheated in every exam in your entire class. I had the answers before I walked in, but something weird happened. It was a new experience for me. And for once, I was at the top of the class. I went from being so defeated in every math class, never really being near the top at all, to suddenly I was, you know, I was pulling 95s to 100 in every single exam. It was a good feeling. I was top of my class and I got even called out at one point and the teacher went, oh, I want, I want these 10 students in the class to enroll in the advanced calculus class for next year. And then my name was on that list. I was a top 10 student in the class. It's not that I was slacking off in class and I just showed up to the exams, copied everything down and called it a day. It wasn't that I did that. I didn't do that. I actually worked. I wanted to understand the material. I worked very hard in that class still to make sure I understood everything. What it did is it just took the pressure off of me when it came to actually taking the exams. And maybe I should have felt guilty. I really feel like that I probably should have felt guilty for what I was doing. But I was just so happy in that moment that for once I was doing well in the math class. And I look back and I realize that that confidence that I had to finally walk into an exam in a math class and do well was exactly what I've been missing since second grade. I got my first proof of this when I took my pre-calc final, which I did not have. Very important point. And you know what? I killed that shit. I did amazing. I did amazing in that exam. Cause you know why? For the first time ever, I didn't have to feel pressured. I had good grades in the class. So I was like, it's okay. If I do bad, I already have good grades. But it wasn't that I just then did bad in the exam and I just tanked it because I already cheated the entire year. It was that I finally had confidence. So therefore for the first time ever, I finally did well. This confidence that I got back, it continued into Calc 1. When you know what? I killed that shit. I killed all of Calc 1. I did amazing in all of Calc 1 the entire year. I finally had more confidence in myself to do well in school. That I could do this material. I was just bad at taking tests. And I got to college and my grades were finally doing really good. As I said, I got a 3.9 GPA by the time I graduated. I had nearly a 4.0 in my first two years of college. You know what that did too? It gave me confidence to join other things outside of classes that I felt like I could perform in things outside of classes. That's when I joined my rocketry team. That's when I got started in research. And you know what? All of that led me exactly to where I am today. All because I decided to cheat in a pre-calc class. If you enjoyed the story so far, feel free to like and subscribe. I'd very much appreciate it. Let's address the elephant in the room real quick. I just told you a story about how me cheating in class benefited me. But the lesson here is absolutely not cheating is good. Let's make that very clear. The lesson here is confidence in mindset are going to be your keys to success. For me, fear and pressure of doing well on tests hindered my ability to perform at all in a class. But when for just a brief moment that was finally removed, I realized I was capable of doing this all along. Even though I struggled with exams, I learned in college especially that I was able to do well when it came to things that weren't class, when it came to individual projects, clubs, doing research, I found that those do not correlate whatsoever to how well you perform in a class. And I'm still a bad test taker. I still stress out a ton over exams and I'm still not that good at them. I'm not fat, it doesn't mean I'm, just, I'm fast at taking exams anymore, but I did get better because I stopped being so worried about them. So what do I want you to do? I want you to go join a school club, go volunteer, go do individual projects, find an internship, do something outside the classroom, learn skills that do not show up on exams. And when you start doing things that feel overwhelming, stick with them. Confidence is going to build over time. And these things matter 10 times more than having a 4.0 when it comes to applying to college, grad school, jobs. I don't think there's been one interview I've ever had where they've said, wow, you know, you got a B minus in quantum. You wanna explain that? No, they never said that. They go, tell me about this project you did. This looks really cool. Tell me about this internship that you did. That looks like a really good experience for you. That's what they ask about. They don't ask about the other stuff. So don't cheat. It's not worth the risk, the stress, the awkward conversations with your teacher, but also don't let some bad grades make you think that you're not good enough. Find what lights you up, whether it's research, clubs, or making Excel spreadsheets for fun. I don't care, you do you. Because let's be real, nobody's going to ask you about your math test scores when you're building rockets, curing diseases, or fighting climate change. Unless that person is me, in which case, let's just agree to never talk about my man minute test again. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next one.